Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. I know, original, right? Seriously though, you are genuinely welcome and please do like and subscribe for access to my weekly travel vlogs. So, we recently sailed on Princess Cruises, Sky Princess, and I thought I'd share with you what the food arrangements and options were on our seven night Scandinavian cruise. But I warn you, you may need to loosen those belts a few notches because there's a lot of food content coming your way. Many of the eateries we'll explore today can be found across the Princess fleet, so let's not waste any more time and let's get eating our way around this ship. First up, the very popular International Cafe which is open 24-7 and all food items are included in your cruise fare. Here you'll find sandwiches, toasties, cakes, pastries and pies. All the carbs you could possibly need basically, with some salads thrown in for good measure. If you're looking for speciality ice creams and sundaes, including sugar-free treats, come to Gelato's, but be aware that items here come with a surcharge. If you're looking for complimentary ice cream during your cruise, you'll find this in main dining rooms and at Swirls, out on the open decks for soft serve. Holy macaroni, cannelloni and shamaloni, it is sole dining room time. Right, so sole is one of three main dining rooms. Uh, we booked our tables for 8 p.m. We're going to start with bread. Oh, look, we've got featured wines, starters, soups, salads. Da da! Bread basket aroma. We've got pastas. Oh, look, fettuccine Alfredo, an all time princess favorite, they say. Matthew has gone for the shrimp cocktail. It's tiny, tiny, and he doesn't like the tails on, so he's not very happy about that. Any, um, I've got the French food. onion soup. It's gonna get messy. Uh oh, uh oh. You can order from every course on the menu, so you may as well fill those boots. I know we did. Oof. Okay, so I've got to say this. Everyone talks about how amazing the French onion soup is on Celebrity. Hello. No, this is the one. I'm telling you. Okay, mains have arrived and Matthew has gone for the steak and onion pie with some fries. And I've got that all-time princess favourite, fettuccine alfredo. Now this sounds really boring, but the pasta is made fresh from sabatinis. And the alfredo sauce is just really creamy and moorish, so let's tuck in. Alrighty, dessert menu and this little sign here means sugar free. So, diabetic dream. Will you stop playing with your food? Sabatini's is a speciality dining venue serving up six courses of Italian fare for a surcharge of $25 per person. Hi, Jamie. Hi, so we just sat down at Sabatini's and these lovely people, what are your names? Andrea. Andrea and Kevin. Kevin have just said hi. They, I think they know us from YouTube. Thank you very much <laughs> for watching. We love you. <laughs> I love your vlog. Oh, thank you. So we have fried pizza dough, essentially, parma ham, and a passata, and then we've got some lovely looking breads. Extreme close up. And this fried pizza dough is awesome. I've actually gone with the fried zucchini, and this is like a crostini with a um, smoked cheese topping. Here comes the next course. Matthew's gone for a salad which has pear and orange segments and i've gone with the cheese fondue which is actually a soup and on the top of the cheesy soup you've got some toasted hazelnuts we've got some uh, olive oil and some uh, mushroom course number four beef ragu parpadelle and i've got the lamb tortellini which has got a little bit of mint all right matthew's gone for the pork tenderloin wrapped in prosciutto and greedy me, I've gone with the trio. Yep, that's definitely mac and cheese. Ooh. Let's have a go with the lasagna. All right, Matthew has gone for the uh, Chocolate Journeys Rocher for his dessert. There's a full review of Sabatini's on my channel, so please do subscribe. Mille grazie. 
The World Marketplace is your cruise ship, buffet and princess have a good range of food in my opinion. Not quite up there with Royal Caribbean, but there's variety and pretty good quality food here. And all food here is included in your cruise fare. Currently, as of June 2022, staff are still serving guests, so you'll need to tell them what you'd like and how much. Not enough on your plate? Ask for more and you shall receive. You'll be able to get breakfast, lunch, afternoon snacks and dinner from this venue and each night you'll experience a different theme from Mediterranean, carveries to Asian fare. It's worth noting that any dietary requirements will be catered for. However, if something's not quite right, please do speak to a member of staff because they will want to make sure you have the best experience possible. If you'd rather have a more leisurely breakfast, you can eat in one of the main dining rooms for table service. You don't need to reserve a table, just rock up when you're ready. Good morning, everybody. We're at the Fialo main dining restaurant. It's the overflow from Estrella. Just checking with Matthew that his bacon's cooked. I think it is. He likes it crispy. Everyone around the world is now going, why have you got baked beans? That's ridiculous. Everyone in the UK is like, yep, normal standard. Alfredo's is an absolute gem of a restaurant. Not only because the soups, pizza, pasta and salads here are great, but because this dining experience is included in your cruise fare. No surcharges here, you'll be pleased to know. It's also open from 11 to 11. So in theory, you could have breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and supper here. Imagine the possibilities. Now then, the Princess app has proven quite controversial, but when it does work, you can order food and drink using the app and it'll magically appear wherever you are on the ship, assuming you don't accidentally leave your medallion behind and then you're doomed. When it works, it's great, but allow 30 minutes to an hour to get your food and drinks delivered just to be on the safe side. Right, it's time for room service for a little bit lunch. And this is the chef salad, which has got um, turkey, Egg, greens, cheese, tomatoes, dressing. Looks good, actually. A few nachos and guacamole. Accidental hot dog that we didn't order has arrived as well. We'll take it. Veggie burger and some fries. Chicken noodle soup. I think we're going to be out for lunch, don't you? I should mention most uh, room service items are complimentary. It's just if you order uh, any items from, for example, the Crown Grill, Sabatini's, that will come with a surcharge. Alrighty, let's talk Dirty Bananas, a famous princess cocktail. It's a blend of banana, milk, rum, Kahlua, espresso, chocolate syrup, and ice. You can leave any ingredients out, but you must try getting dirty, even if it's just the once. No, these aren't free, I'm afraid. Slice is a casual grab-and-go affair serving delicious homemade pizza. It's included in your cruise fare. The question always is, is Princess Pizza better than MSC Pizza? I don't know. I think it's brilliant, by the way. It's great pizza. Maybe on a par with MSC. The Salty Dog is another grab-and-go venue which is also included in your cruise fare. I'm a particular fan of the Chipotle Lime Chicken Tacos and Loaded Fries. Burgers are also very good here. Beware, the line can get crazy at peak times. Nom nom nom! Salty Dog Grill. Cheeseburger and fries. Really healthy, I know. Sorry. Alrighty, so ce soir we have been joined by Isla, who's the much nicer version of Vic. Hi. From the north. Am I from the north? Yes. No. Yes. Dumplings. Right, here we go. I've got a thousand courses coming and I'm starting with the double baked um, goat's Goat cheese souffle. <laughs> Stop playing with your food. Cobb salad time for Matthew. And he's playing with his food like a little infant. 
no way of look, making this one look nice. It's <laughs> mushroom soup. It's it's kind of grey brown, you know, but I bet it tastes good. Course number three, fettuccine Alfredo. Alfredo. Just a small portion for me. Isla's gone for the gnocchi with a tomato, but she's not having crumbled gorgonzola because that would make her a little bit pukey. <laughs> Matthew has the pork tenderloin <laughs> with uh, baby food. That's I mean, apple or something. Good, Vic has got Cornish N and it's still got its head on. And I've gone for the vegetable crock pot with mashed potato. But I have no idea what a crock pot is. Matthew thinks it's a, some American slow cooker type dish, but we'll see. All right, let's just look what a crock pot has inside. They are looking very intently at this dessert menu. Well, they've got Il Flotton. Il Flotton. This is Isla's chocolate cheesecake, which looks really good, actually. <laughs> this is a salted caramel what pot, which looks like Angel Delight. Sugar-free coconut cake. Coconut? Yes. And some petit four. And here comes another main dining room experience. Where does all this food go? Oh me god, look at the sight of that feast. Alrighty, we're starting with the sesame chicken. Looks nice. Uh, with a sweet chili sauce. Matthew has gone with the Mexican salad. And what I like about this is the cilantro lime dressing. Very nice. And because I'm a superholic, I've gone for the Bahamian pea uh, soup. It doesn't look like that. And it has some very interesting sounding dumplings. OMG, Matthew's prime rib is massive. All right, I've gone with boring penne with tomato con con what's it called con con cas and here comes the parmi parmigiano oh, that's better hmm not an altogether successful prime rib that one a lot of fat and grizzle i think matthew would have sent it back but he's so full up already because we had a huge lunch today Ooh. not that i remember not yeah lemon meringue cheesecake arama Let's digress just a little to remind you that when you are in port, you will be faced with the dilemma of whether or not to eat ashore. The food tour doesn't end on the ship, folks. Here's an Italian we ate at in Tivoli Gardens, Denmark, and it was excellent. And with so many lovely cafes around, you just have to stop for a coffee and cake, right? I think it's illegal not to, and you might end up being thrown into prison. So best be on the safe side, okay? Breakfast delivered to the cabin as we just sail into Christian San Norway. Let's see what this is all about. We've got cheese and egg muffin. It's like a mu muffin from McDonald's look. Oh, we've got two of them. And um, we've got a Danish croissant and some melon. Plus a big vat of coffee. Yes. Welcome to Christian Sand. It's the traveling wine. All right, it's time to check in for our dinner. Excited. This looks like a really nice uh, venue, actually. Actually, rather elegant look. I like this. And here we are in the corner. Oh, I always get put in the corners because I'm naughty, you see. Look at these bad girls. Bread basket has arrived. The little pinwheel, as I call it. Not sure what kind of bread this is yet. Mm, that's delicious. I think it's got a little bit of um, olive tapenade, olive oil, and a good amount of parmesan as well. Now I've had a couple of mouthfuls, it's also got some um, little kicks of chili. Unexpected, I like it. You can find the full experience and review of the Crown Grill on my channel, so make sure you subscribe, please. I've gone for the black and blue onion soup, which I suppose is uh, a posh elevated take on French onion soup, and it actually has Jack Daniels in it. The New York Strip has arrived. Got a nice charred look and smell to it. It's salt time. Could I have the Hawaiian, please? Yeah. Thank you. So as accompaniments, we've got griddled asparagus. We've got fries uh, with garlic and herb. Over here, we have got wild mushrooms and we have red skin mashed potato as well. Oh my. God, I am so full up. 
Alrighty, so we have got a salted caramel creme brulee cheesecake over here for Matthew. And he's playing with his food because he's had three glasses of wine and can't handle his wine. And this is the apple and rhubarb cobbler with uh, blueberry drizzle and vanilla ice cream. And it looks like a little apple chip with a little happy space look. That's so cute. Hello. Good morning, everybody. It's Jamie here. Time for breakfast at the Estrella dining room. That's Spanish for star, by the way, just in case you want to know. Let's go. Nice lights. Look at these, look. That's nice. And here we are. Thank you so much. Oh, look how pretty that is. The lights, the lights, not Matthew. Oh my God, that's like tar. Bit more milk, please, Matthew. Oh, that's better. We've been spotted by this couple over here who are going on a back-to-back. -back. From this, they're heading straight to Pino Iona and the fjords. Oh, here we go. Making sure you all know that I do eat fruit as well, by the way. Here comes our melon platter. Matthew has gone with a cheese omelette, hash brown and sausage, which looks a little bit suspicious. All right, so the sausage tastes all right, thank God. I've gone with a, a whopping plate of scrambled egg, hash brown and some brown toast. A little more room service? Hell yes. We got room service. Uh, took an hour. However, we've got cheesy chips and a roast turkey sandwich. We've got uh, chicken noodle egg soup and some nachos and guacamole. Just to keep us going, of course, because there's not nearly enough food on a cruise ship now, is there? Here's a nice little pack of being elite. You're going to get some canapes on your formal night. Let's see what we got on the menu tonight. Right, so Monkey's going for the crab and Monterey cheese quiche. And I do love my soup, so I've gone for the bacon and potato chowder with corn. All right, so we both opted for the beef medallion with a little potato fondant and some vegetables. It's tiny. All right, it might be tiny, but actually it's really tasty. And this is the amazing thing. I'd asked for a herby chicken tagliatelle and um, it has olives normally. Sorry, they couldn't do it, but they've made me a special one. So I've got two main courses. <laughs> yes, awesome. This is the turtle cheesecake and I'm trying to work out where the turtles are. There aren't any. Looks good. We are here at the Vista Lounge, deck seven, aft, um, as we are elite members and therefore we get some nibbles. There you go, and this really lovely, very helpful uh, crew member. I've just been serving us some of this delicious looking food. You've got all sorts here, like chicken salad, and you've got nachos, you've got vegetables, crudité with hummus, and you have an assortment of cheeses. Oh, look at that Stilton. Olives, breads, fruits, mini rolls, pretzels, fresh fruits, it's awesome. And I must say the Vista Lounge, Really nice little spot, actually. Oh, it's time for Savvy Blanc. Cheers, Matthew. Yeah, chin chin. chin chin. Happy holidays. And there you go, folks. A week's worth of food on a cruise ship. It's a little disconcerting putting this together, but I promise to show you the whole shebang. Our food overall was good, with some highlights such as Alfredo's, the Crown Grill, and some of the dishes from the main dining room. A few misses here and there, and whilst the food comes recommended, and of course is plentiful, this isn't a luxury fine dining affair. But what have your experiences of Princess Cruise's food been? I'd love to hear from you, so please drop your comments and questions below. For now, don't forget to subscribe for all six vlogs in the Sky Princess series, and I'll see you soon for the next adventure. You can subscribe to Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I mean, why wouldn't you?